Blender versus Unreal Engine. These are two incredibly powerful programs with almost limitless potential, but only one can be crowned champion. Which one can bring your wildest imagination to life? Which one can realize your creative vision? Each of these programs bring a variety of different advantages to the table. So today, I want to examine the categories that I have found to be most important and either award a point to Unreal or Blender. Through this process, we'll see which is the more capable tool. Before we get started, we need to get something out of the way. Both Blender and Unreal Engine were created with completely different purposes in mind. However, a lot of the stuff that they can do, it does overlap. So today we're going to look at them from the standpoint of content creation, so like making videos. So if you're wanting to create a game, Unreal Engine is going to be the clear winner. Both of these are free to use. So figuring out which one is going to be best for you is going to save you a ton of time and help to streamline your entire 3D workflow. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our first category. Number one is learning curve. This is a tricky one because Unreal Engine is really easy to get started with but it's also very hard to master. Let me explain. When you first open up Unreal, you can navigate to the Quixel Bridge tab and start placing in assets. Using Quixel, it's super easy to create an amazing environment. I mean, look at how good this looks. This just took me like five minutes to make. But when you're adding in characters, objects to interact with, rigging, and all the other stuff you're gonna need for game design, Unreal quickly becomes very, complicated. Not that it's not worth it, but it's difficult to learn. Blender, on the other hand, doesn't have a built-in library system like Quixel. I personally gravitate towards the UI of Blender. It's super easy and beginner-friendly, and it's easy to get started and progress along your Blender journey. So while it doesn't have a big old boost right when you get started with the Blender, it's a lot easier to master the program. So I'll give this point to Blender. Our second category is community. So this is a category that you would a lot of times think isn't that important, but if you have an expansive community that's built out around a program, it's much easier to learn. And any questions that you have that are more like detail oriented, once you're in a project, you can find specific tutorials to help you through that process. It's difficult to pick a winner in this category because both of these two programs have expansive communities that have grown around them. So it's easy to find specific tutorials for whatever you need. But if I have to pick a winner, I would still pick Blender. It's been more mainstream for a while. A lot of people use it uh, for video production purposes, unlike Unreal, which has really started to pick up its video production side just in the past few years. I think that generally the Blender community is a little bit more expansive and has more information to offer, but really it's a close call. You're not gonna go wrong with the community in either of these two programs, but I'll still give the point in this category to Blender. All right, category number three is assets. This is a really important one. One of the major advantages to Unreal is its massive asset library that comes built in, pre-installed, and free to use. I've never found an asset library that's quite as expansive and high quality as Quixel. And in Unreal, it's completely free to use, which is huge. Now, obviously inside of Blender, there are amazing add-ons with like asset libraries like uh, Kitbash 3D. Blender Kit is one that's amazing and it's free, uh, at least partially to use but they really don't compare to Quixel. Quixel's just more expansive, it has more scans, it just has more stuff involved in it. So I'm gonna give this category to Unreal. Unreal's the winner, has more assets. The fourth category is rendering. This is a very important category. And I think if there is a clear winner, even though it's somewhat debatable. Blender has an amazing photo reel engine and the Cycles render engine. But when you compare that with Unreal, it's very slow. And even though you're gonna get amazing results, sometimes the frames can take two or three or four minutes to roll in depending on the level of your graphics card and the complexity of your scene. Well, for most of the same scene, if you have that in Unreal, it's gonna be rendering that in real time, which is very difficult to keep up with. Blender does have Eevee, which is a real-time render engine, but it doesn't really hold a candle to what Unreal is able to do. Unreal, on the other hand, uses a game engine style of rendering. It has Lumen and Nanite built into it, which vastly speeds up the process and lets you render way 
faster. So even though for quality, if you're doing Cycles versus the Unreal Render Engine, they're probably going to be about the same. Maybe Cycles is a little bit better. Unreal just renders so quickly, I'm gonna give the point to Unreal. But if you're rendering mostly smaller animations and stuff like that, they're both going to work for you, but I think Unreal still wins this category by a landslide. Number five are the different features and capabilities of each program, what they can do, what their specialties are. This is the category that it all comes down to. Because all the stuff we've talked about that's leading up to this point, they're all important. They all help you to make an informed decision, but ultimately this is the category that it comes down to. This is why you're going to pick a 3D program. Because by very nature, each of these two programs is very different. Let's go through Blender first. So first of all, Blender as opposed to Unreal Engine has the amazing ability to model. Unreal just doesn't really have that capability. And while Unreal does have some rudimentary modeling systems, like you can scale and different things like that, it just really does not compare to what you can do inside of Blender. Blender has all kinds of different tools as well as an almost infinite variety of add-ons that you can add into Blender to make your modeling system even better and more streamlined and personalized to you. Essentially, Blender has for free the same sort of modeling system that you're going to get in an industry standard program like Maya. Now, Maya does have some advantages. It is a little bit more developed, but for free, Blender is amazing at modeling and Unreal just doesn't really compete there. Blender also has the upper hand when it comes to animation. There are obviously tons of different things that you can do with animation inside of Unreal, but when it comes to complex character and product animation, Blender is just the way to go. It's just going to be better for that sort of stuff. So if that's what you're looking to do, then Blender is going to win that category. So essentially, if you were wanting to do work where you create all the assets, you're the one that's able to model anything. Blender is the program for you. You can make pretty much anything you can imagine if you put enough time into the process. Well, Unreal, you really can't do that. But Unreal has some amazing advantages as well. Don't just write it off. Unreal, unlike Blender, has an extremely sophisticated real-time render engine. So while it might take 15 seconds to render a frame of the same scene inside of Blender, Unreal can probably render that same scene and 30 frames per second, which is crazy. And it opens up all kinds of different possibilities with the virtual production. But I won't get into all of that in this video, but essentially it's just streamlining the compositing process, making it way faster and making it look way better. But because Unreal has Nanite and Lumen and all of these other efficient tools, it's able to render larger scenes. So if you're wanting to render a scene with millions of polygons in Blender, you're gonna get bogged down after a little while. But Unreal, because of mostly Nanite, you're able to do that with ease. And you can create vast environments that are basically just down samples so that your computer can process those. So with that last category where we talked about all the different special things that each of these programs can do, I'm not really going to award a winner, but it's really up to you which one of those you think won that category. But the last one here is just your personal preference which one is going to work best for you. If we look at the scores, it's tied right now 2-2 if we're discounting the last category. They're both amazing and well-qualified programs, but hopefully you're learning more in this video which one's going to best fit your needs, which one's going to be best for you, help you to accomplish your goals. So if you did that, you should subscribe, obviously, if you enjoyed this video, but I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching.